submit one. I have to submit one yeah. recording. So I'm like just recording all of them because then I can kind of decide which one I want to submit. Which one you want. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so thank you so much for working with me. What okay. um do I do I have your permission to coach you first off? Yes, you do. Okay. And what are you thinking you'd like to be coached on today? Or what what's something that you're struggling with or what are you kind of thinking? I'm getting in my head too much. I I think I don't, I feel failure and I don't like failure because I have perfectionist tendencies. <laughs> and so I get in my own head and if things aren't going well, it's easier for me to just give up than to dig deep and keep going. Okay. Don't, I'm going to be taking lots of notes because it kind of helps me figure out things. Yep. So what do you feel you're really getting in your head about right now? Is there something specific that you're getting in your head about? I'm okay. So I struggle with getting like, even with bookings right now, I'm getting some bookings, but they're not all like, I have two in August right now. I have four in September. So as I keep asking people, no, I'm too busy. This isn't the good month. You know, it's like who, I don't know who to even reach out to anymore. And I'm, and so then it just tells me I'll just quit trying. <laughs> So specifically right now, your frustration is bookings for sure. For sure. Okay. And it's always been recruiting too. <laughs> okay. okay. How many people in the last couple of weeks do you think that you've contacted? Probably in the last two weeks, about 30. Okay. and out of all of those is that where you generated your two bookings yep okay from those two and then for September right ones as well okay yeah all right well you've got four more in September than I have so, <laughs> so if you want to look at it like that no I'm just kidding <laughs> um okay so I might have to look at my notes too here. So, mm -hmm. and so my part of my fear too is okay. I have a plan going forward with these two two parties that I have that start on Friday. Okay. As I'm looking at them, okay, I'm gonna I'm getting myself back on track. I'm gonna do all the things, and I'm gonna try and contact every person in the party, pray, praying that they will see my message. Mm -hmm. And respond. Now, okay. my biggest fear is if both of those parties are flops, like if several have been as of late, or flops meaning barely, <laughs> barely Flop qualifying, yeah. Party, yeah. yeah, and that people aren't really even interested, at, so it seems. <laughs> um, I get in that negative mindset again mm -hmm. of why do I even try? <laughs> mm -hmm. So when you feel like you get into a negative mindset, have you ever, what do you typically do to try to get yourself out of that? When you're getting in your head is what you're saying. Do you, do, do, yeah. is li to literally get out, that, that, to yeah. get out of it? Do you, yeah. Are you able to get yourself out of it or do you always, it takes me a while. Okay. Um, so I was all geared up, ready to go right after conference. And then I started reaching out on the, as many people as I could. Um, and then I could just get defeated. I think it's a feeling of defeat. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. And then what do you feel like when, what does it make you feel like when somebody says no? Very disappointed. There's some people I expect them to say no, <laughs> but yeah. Mm -hmm. But others it's like, oh, come on, please. <laughs> Why do I have to keep asking you? Are you get, do you get frustrated when they want to like when you need bookings now and you want them like that they want to go out further how does that make you feel when they book farther out I'm okay if they book further out okay that I'm okay with that because then I tell myself well at least I got those <laughs> right right mm -hmm. I have some yep. coming up mm -hmm. all right um when you're feeling like defeated like that like you like you you did say that you're you feel failure mm -hmm. you did say that yep and, and you feel defeated what what how does like how does it feel to feel that way like in your body like does it is it like in your heart is it like uh -huh. what kind of an emotion it's a, it's a, a like a weight a heaviness on my heart mm -hmm. right in the chest All right, hold on just a second. So what I'm, okay, so the facts kind of that I have right now, because when we're looking at situations like this, we really need to look factual instead of what things aren't really true, because then we tend to make up stories about things. So what I'm hearing from you is that you feel you're feeling like a failure because you're getting in your head about not being able to get bookings, mm -hmm. bookings a jerk. I mean, and you've, you do have recruiting is in there too, but that's been something yep. that you've been struggling with anyway. Yep. Bookings right now. It's that's, it's really yep. bothering you. Mm -hmm. Um, I heard you say that you've made about 30 contacts in the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. You've gotten two bookings for August and four for September. Okay. Um, what, is there anything like holding you back from making more than just 30 contacts? No. Or do you feel like you're, well, I did hear you say, you did say that you feel like you're running out of people. Yeah, I struggle with I don't know who to ask. I go back, I look at my customer list. Um, mm -hmm. I've reached out to some past hosts. Like I told you, I think the guinea pig, mm -hmm. um, most of the people that said yes were people who were um, responding to the guinea pig help, helping out. Um, when I look back at like past customers, I look at those who were active in a party or, you know, the rock star guests, those are the ones that I'm going back to. Okay. All right. So is there other places or other things too, that you feel like you can, um, you know, that you could pull from? Is there like, have you, do you really feel like you've, you know, gone through all of the gone through all of it where is my I'm looking for something and it's like where did it go where is it there it is I feel like a good portion maybe not all and I, I think about my contacts that I have at at church and school too and the, like I've reached out to some um I, you know we have a there's a so the the one of my coworkers, his wife sells 31 and she's really infiltrated into St. Paul's with the 31. Mm -hmm. And we have another faculty worker who sells Sensi. And so I guess I, I, I do reach out to the people, but it's like, they're constantly in another party and they'll say, I don't want to be in another party right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't want to tax my, my friends. So it's hard to navigate that, even though it's a different type mm -hmm. of a sale. What other, 
but do you have other places besides just your coworkers to reach out to? Thinking, thinking back to like, you know, things you've done in the past, like. I'd have to, <laughs> most of my life has been at St. Paul's. Mm -hmm. But I mean. The kids going to school there too. That's all kind yeah. of the same parents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I'm, you know. I've reached out to like high school friends. I've gone back that far. Okay. I'm one of my friends with on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them have had parties with me in the past. They helped me get started in my first couple of years. Sure. Sure. Okay. So, you know, I, I feel like, you know, the outcome that we're getting at here is that, you know, because you've reached out to, you know, 30 some people in the last two weeks and you've only gotten six bookings. One thing I really want you to think about is six out of 30. That's pretty good. It might not feel good, it doesn't feel good, but, <laughs> oh, but that, I mean, facts wise, percentage wise, six bookings out of 30 contact is pretty good because really every 10 no's, then you get a yes. So you got double that. True. If you look, if you want to look at it that way, but you know, you're not, you know, you want to have that story be, I don't have any luck on getting bookings, but if you look back at your data, you're not really doing too shabby, especially That's true. That's true. if you want to look at it, we're in summer months and it's hard and it's back to school time and it's hard. Right. Um. But what I'm hearing from you is that because your bookings aren't going the way that you want them that you're, you know, you're feeling like a failure. You yeah. are feeling, you know, you, you have perfectionist tendencies. So it's like, it just kind of makes you feel like it's easier to just give up on things. So how do you think that that behavior is affecting your, what, what outcome are you getting from that behavior? Oh, I'm not getting the results I want. <laughs> right. But our, but you what behaviors are you not maybe not doing to get you the results that you want? I find myself it's easier to put it off and quit asking mm -hmm. than to keep going. Yep. So same thing with the recruiting. <laughs> right. <laughs> there, there's two stories done and over with. <laughs> um, so yeah. So really think about it. So it's not that you have, you know, exhausted every single person on the planet to book a party with you. You've mm -hmm. made it through 30 names and you've gotten six bookings. You know, it's not necessarily the outcome you want, but make sure we have, you know, make sure that our behaviors are corresponding with what the, out, you know, what we want. So mm -hmm. not saying, you know, I don't mean it like at all, but like that, no, you're I know doing, yeah. that I hear you're you. doing a bad job by any means, but mm -hmm. it helps for us to look at things from the overall perspective of it and really what the facts are in it. You know, like if somebody said to me, I've contacted every person. No, you haven't, because that's virtually impossible for you to contact right. every single yeah. person yeah. on the planet, right? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, you know, so that's why, you know, when you're thinking and you're in a situation like this is thinking really about what the facts are, it helps, it helps a lot. So, um, so then what we want to do is, you know, we want to try to come to an outcome that's going to be what we want you know we want our um like a positive outcome basically <laughs> so mm -hmm. um that's when we can start working on strategies to make the outcome different okay mm -hmm. so I think I'm actually going to stop recording there because we I have to 